In this video, I want to teach you how to improve your dirt bike riding position. What's up, Rad family? I'm Dakota Freeman, and welcome to the Rad Adventure Dude channel. When we want to learn how to ride a dirt bike with the proper dirt bike riding position, it's going to be so important that we learn how to stand on our dirt bikes. Standing is honestly one of the most important things that we can do when we want to ride faster on our dirt bikes and become a better dirt bike rider. So to stand the proper way on a dirt bike, we really want to make sure that we're standing on the balls of our feet and this is gonna give our ankles good articulation. We also wanna make sure that we are gripping the bike with our knees. Gripping the dirt bike with our knees just really connects us with the bike and makes it to where we can press on the either side of the bike to micro adjust on the trail. And this is gonna just give us more control over the dirt bike. We also want our knees bent as we're doing this and this is just gonna keep us a little bit lower on the bike as we're standing on the dirt bike. Once we get up to our upper body, we always want our head over the handlebars. Having our head forward over the handlebars makes sure that we're in the proper riding position and just make sure that we have more weight over the front of the dirt bike. This is going to give us more control over the handlebars and give us a better riding position when we're riding. Whether we're on a straightaway, in a corner, hitting a jump, it really doesn't matter. We always want our head over the handlebars. The next part of the attack riding position is going to be standing with our elbows up. As we do all these different things, this is truly how we get the most control out of our dirt bike. The same with having our head over the handlebars. We always want to make sure that we have our elbows up. Having your elbows up just really gives you a lot more control over the handlebars and make sure that you can adjust if you need to out on the tracks and trails. If you hit a bump or something that you're not expecting, having your elbows up could really save you from going down out on the tracks and trails. This dirt bike riding position is gonna be so important to actually becoming a better dirt bike rider. As you master your attack position on your dirt bike, you're also gonna be shifting your weight all around as well. When we really begin to develop good skills on shifting our weight forward when we're going into corners, back when we're going down straightaways, and being able to shift our weight side to side on the foot pegs to micro adjust if we're out on the tracks and trails is going to be huge to developing good riding position techniques to actually become a better rider. Riding a dirt bike faster is not just about turning the throttle. If you ride with the correct dirt bike riding position, naturally you're going to become a faster rider just because you're more comfortable on the dirt bike and you're more confident. You're also going to be riding in the right body position, which is going to give you a lot more control over your dirt bike. This is really what all boils down to give you the most confidence when you're riding. When we're shifting our weight around on our dirt bike, it's going to be something that we do constantly. We're also going to be bobbing and weaving just like a boxer because every little bump that you hit, you're constantly going to be moving forward, backwards, side to side, and this is how you're going to adjust your dirt bike to be in the correct position. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you hit that and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. The next part of this is I want to go over a couple different riding positions that we need to be in when doing certain obstacles. So when we're going up a big steep hill, we want to make sure to get our body weight forward on the dirt bike. And we want to make sure to come into this hill with momentum if possible. Having momentum as you're coming into this big hill is just going to make sure that you have plenty of momentum to get to the top and for some reason if you start running out of power you can always shift down in the gears to get to a lower gear with more acceleration. Just make sure whenever you're going up this hill especially if you shift down into a lower gear get your body weight forward on the dirt bike to keep the front end down on the ground and it doesn't come over backwards and loop out. This is going to be very important especially when going up a steep hill on our dirt bikes. Now how do we go down a steep hill? When we're going down a steep hill, it's going to be very important that we ride in the right attack body position and stand on our dirt bikes. We're going to need to use our front brake, our back brake, and our gears to actually slow the bike down as we're going down a steep hill on our dirt bikes. When we're going down a steep hill, you're going to need to make sure that you're using your rear brake with the clutch not pulled in. This way the engine brake can really help stop the dirt bike as well. If you're going down a steep hill and you pull in the clutch, it's going to free up the motor and you're really going to coast much faster. So we don't want to pull in the clutch when we're going down a hill like this and we want to make sure that we get our body weight back on the dirt bike. Getting our body weight back over the rear tire as we're coming down the steep hill can really help us stay on the brakes and keep traction to our rear tire. If we start going down a steep hill like this and we start to lose traction, 
our bike's gonna wanna kinda fishtail around and this is where getting our body weight over the tire is really gonna give you more traction over your dirt bike. This is gonna make it to where we can go down a big steep hill without worrying about going too fast. So make sure when you're going down big steep hills like this, you're standing up in the proper riding position and you get your body weight back as well. And we're really gonna have to learn how to use the gear shifter while using the front and the back brakes to get down a big steep hill on our dirt bikes. The next part of this is we wanna make sure we're cornering in the right dirt bike body position. To corner in the right dirt bike body position, we're gonna make sure that we slide our body weight as far forward on the dirt bike as possible. We're always gonna have our elbows up and our head over the handlebars, but making sure that we put our body weight as far forward as possible right now is gonna give us a lot more traction on our front wheel. We're always gonna have our inside leg out in front of the dirt bike and our outside leg, we're gonna be using to drive our body weight into the foot peg. This way it seats both tires, the rear tire and the front tire, and gives us more traction and control out of our dirt bike. When we wanna get faster at hitting corners, it's gonna be so important that we learn how to hit these corners while we're standing up. Standing up is gonna be so important that we actually get into the corner without hitting all the bumps along the way and then we sit down to get the acceleration we need out of the dirt bike to give us more traction to our rear wheel. This is gonna give us more acceleration out of the dirt bike and really help us drive out of this corner. Then, once we're going out of the corner, we really wanna stand back up to where all the bumps on the tracks and trails are not affecting our bodies and we can truly go much faster on our dirt bikes. So make sure you work on your cornering technique as it's really gonna be important to become the best rider you can possibly be. And we really just need to focus on having the correct riding position and then we're gonna become a better rider naturally. When we start standing up all the way through corners is when we're really gonna be able to even corner faster. We can't do this on very sharp corners, but if it's a big sweeping corner, you can stand up all the way around the corner and sometimes even hold the throttle on the whole time as well. This is gonna be a great way to hit these sweeping corners faster and to ride with the right body position. We need to practice our attack body position to where it's so comfortable and natural for us to stay in that way because we are gonna be using it every time we wanna go faster on our dirt bikes. The attack body position is gonna be so important to instill into our riding to where we don't need to think about it anymore, but we just naturally stand in the attack body position. Rad family, I'm so proud of you for putting this time in to become a better dirt bike rider. If you're still looking for more dirt bike riding tips, I'm always here. I've made a full dirt bike riding course over on my website that's gonna walk you through being a complete beginner and take you to an advanced rider mastering the tracks and trails. Plus, I have a full dirt bike guide over on my website that I give away for free. Just sign up for my newsletter and I'll send it right to you. If this video helped you, make sure you like this video and drop some comments down below and ask me any other questions that you have. Make sure you click the subscribe button that's right here and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future dirt bike riding tips. After that, you can watch my next video right here. Stay rad and I'll see you over there.